Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John here, AKA Lather Hog. Today's feature shave soap and aftershave splash comes from an artisan who I think is just knocking it out of the park. This year especially, uh, we're talking about Calabria from Gentleman's Nod, and I have here both the shaving soap as well as the matching aftershave splash, as well as a carded perfume sample of the Eau de Parfum. So we're gonna be fully immersed in this brand new scent. Just a note and disclosure that Gentleman's Nod kindly gifted me the soap, the splash, and the sample. This is not a sponsored video, and all thoughts and opinions that I share today are indeed my own. All right, so let's take a closer look at the shaving soap. First up for the label itself, we've got a very attractive painted top label. I never noticed this before on the other labels, but in the text of Calabria, as well as the Gentleman's Nod logo itself, uh, there's some, you know, either like a prism, pearlescent kind of effect to it, uh, which is definitely adding I don't know, a little, little something, something extra. Now also taking a look at the side label, you can see the same art reformatted as well as that cool prism effect in the text. Just a very attractive package overall. Now for sake of time, I haven't done this in recent videos, but I think you guys enjoy this part where um, here's a pour. I've used this soap uh, a few times already, so this is not a fresh pour. Uh, and this is my initial scent impression uh, before you know, any lathering has gone on very robust we got citrus as the main player right there but as far as first impressions go kind of the first sniff off the tub man uh, this really uh it's something special here so we'll get into this in just a little bit also we want to take a look at the aftershave bottle very nice i also want to note that this aftershave does indeed include alcohol for those who like the burn now as for the razor today we're going with the carve overlander in brass and this one is loaded with a Gillette Nasset blade. And the brush I've chosen to match with the label is this one from Chisel and Hound. I believe the knot here, I'm not 100% sure, but it is a Fanturian knot, which is 26 millimeter Badger uh, fan knot here. And I believe it is V14 for those of you familiar with Rob's knots and enjoy his work. Very clean, classic pour right here and again, matches that Calabria label really well. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I wanna welcome you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're into the world of wet shaving, whether you just started or you've been wet shaving for years and you're into razors, shaving brushes, shaving soaps, you've come to the right place. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber and don't miss out on any new videos. In terms of beer growth, I'm looking at about three days here, I think, my best estimate. So, enough for you to see. Now, let's get into the shave. So the sadness on Calabria include bergamot, grapefruit, ginger, cardamom, osmansis, woods, and musk. The shave soap retails at $29 USD for five ounces of soap and the aftershave splash $27. All right, so we are lathered up and ready to go. Again, we're using the Carve Overlander with a Gillette Nasa blade. Eagle eye viewers will also notice, uh, or might notice, I am still using that uh, lens that kind of gives a fish eye effect. I do want to thank everyone who commented on the last video, whether you like it or not, or whether you like uh, without the lens where my face is much closer. I kind of, I personally like this look better, but I will continue to take feedback. But I know it kind of distorts things uh, as far as what things might look like, but. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go in for that first pass and you can hear the car overlander. So generally a very mild in feel razor, 
with some nice moderate efficiency. Now as for, let's talk a little bit more about the scent Calabria. Uh, if you are a fan of citrus, in particular bergamot, this is gonna be your jam. This is such, uh, there's some sweetness without too much sweetness. There's, there's even a warmth to it, which I think comes from the ginger. It's not a, it's not a spicy scent, but you know, ginger can be described as kind of spicy or spiced. So uh, I think I'm perceiving it as, uh, as a warmth, kind of a comforting warmth. And along with that, there's a brightness. Uh, uh, some of the text on the write-up for Calabria is talking about vacationing in the Mediterranean by the coast. And that kind of brings me as far as uh, in the world of perfuming goes, um, this one definitely would fall in line with the mini offerings from Aqua de Parma. Wet shavers are most likely familiar with Aqua de Parma Colonia, a very classic Italian citrus. It's got some old school genuinely vibes. Uh, this would be on the more modern side. And uh, if you're familiar with the blue Mediterranean line from Aqua de Parma, those are, those are like in the blue bottle, appropriately so and the scents are perfect for the summer. They don't have a lot of longevity and they don't even, they don't even have like that much punch beyond the first, maybe first half hour, hour, but they're really beautiful scents. I don't know, all really encapsulate the warm weather. And there's one that I have, I'll, I'll be sure to flash it up on screen. It's called Bergamato di Calabria. So uh, very much in line with this scent as well. There is a difference between the two of them. I, I might even get more notes of like orange and other citrus here for the gentleman's not offering. But if you have smelled these other offerings from Agua de Parma, you might find some overlap there. So all that is to say that Calabria here from Gentleman's Knot is a very well-blended scent. I find it stronger than the scent I mentioned from Aqua de Parma. Even just the shave soap and aftershave splash, I'm smelling this on, on me for hours afterwards. And in general, a very appealing scent. Unless you absolutely hate citrus and maybe, maybe you're a fan of darker scents, I think this one is, is very safe and enjoyable. If you're looking for a cool place to hang out with traditional shaving enthusiasts, come on down to the Lather Talk Discord. Share your shave of the days, mail calls, or talk about your favorite hardware or software, and just about everything in between. Once again, that's Lather Talk Discord. Check out the link below. Now we're doing our second pass. And one conundrum I'm running into guys is, as I'm trying to keep an eye out for what are my you know, best scents for this year, for 2023. Uh, now, along with Bluegrass Muse, which uh, I also did a video on, link in the description below. Um, both, there's two scents now in the running and we're not even, <laughs> not even done with this year yet. We're like just halfway through. But really, as I mentioned at the top of the video, Gentleman's Nod is you know kind of firing on all cylinders. And there's one other one, and let, let me know if you've picked this one up, Juniper Reverie. Uh, that's another really good one, guys. And um, I do have a backlog of soaps. Um, this one originally came out at the, I want to say the end of July, while I was uh, while I was out of town, and only here, uh, you know, beginning uh, mid mid August, am I getting to it? I do apologize for the delay. Also, as far as performance of the C4 Plus base, for those who might not be familiar with it, it's a tallow-based shave soap, and. It is quite thirsty, so be sure either not to overload or properly hydrate for my badger brush, actually, because I, I, I first used a synthetic brush on this. The badger brush, uh, because I think density, and depending on what I have, I had to load more. I wanted to have to load more product and then obviously got properly hydrated, and, and so it took a little bit more time, but I really like these results. 
It's also in line with many of the American artisan shave soaps in that it is a very dense, creamy lather, low volume, low, vol low volume, low volume, high density. So for those of you who are maybe in the process of trying out different shave soaps, you, you might find that, that that's kind of a commonality between them. Take a look, be observant and adjust. I know if you overhydrate it, well, then you might have to go back and load some more soap into the brush. But a lot of the reasons we got into wet shaving is to slow things down and take our time. So I don't see that as a bad thing. All right, so we had a great shave with Gentleman's Knot Calabria. I have applied the aftershave splash here. And this one, there's not much, there's not much dif differentiation between the soap and the splash. It's, you know, one to one, it lines up just right. Uh, we've been talking about how sometimes shave soaps and aftershave splashes, uh, they, can differ quite they can differ quite a bit. Um, depending on the scent and the ingredients used and all that. This one is is you know, pretty much a one for one, so no differences there. Uh, again, we got a scent here that's just great for warm weather. I think it, that's, it really enhances the scent. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was the florals. There's definitely some f florals in play, but it is still fruit dominant. Uh, you might find, you might have had a scent before where it utilizes fruit, florals, woods, and it's kind of, you know, everything's kind of in balance. Uh, this one has definitely more of that citrus, fruit, sweetness, kind of the orange peel. It's a bright scent. It's a happy scent. So I'm really digging this one, you know, full honest opinion. Uh, I almost forgot. Let's use the carded sample as well. And I think these are a new offering from Gentleman's Knot as they're really getting more into the development of fragrances for their you know for their shave soaps and whatnot so inside i mean just very professional all the way you can see probably see a few sprays mixing from it missing from it not mixing missing and it's a little it's a mini atomizer those of you who've had fragrance samples and the little dabber things i i hate the dabber things i've never never quite feel like it, it does the trick. So I, I'm so glad this one has a very decent, good sprayer on this. Yeah, so I don't have too much more to say on that. It's a really enjoyable scent. I wanna hear from you guys though. Is Calabria one that you picked out? This, one, this one's been out for you know, about two, three weeks now. If you picked it up, let me know down in the comments below your impressions. If this is on your radar, let me know maybe what's preventing you from, from pulling the trigger. And also in general, what's your experience with Gentleman's Nod's offerings? I'd love to hear from you guys. But that brings us to the end of the video. So guys, thank you so much again for tuning in today. I really appreciate your viewership and your support. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.